For practice it, self check 2.22 loop table. We are to assume that we have a variable called count that will take on the values 1, 2, 3, and so on. We are going to formulate expressions in terms of count that will yield different sequences. Um, this first row is given as an example. So basically, we are given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and our expression is 2 times count. And that gives us this sequence. So now we need to do the same for all of these other values. If we look at this first thing, this first row right here, and this first row right here, what we can do is look at the values between each of these. So basically, if we have 19 minus 4, we're going to have 15. If we have 34 minus 19, we're going to have 15. So basically, we are going to start out with 15 times the count. But if we look at our count value, we can see that it is not going to be that. It's not going to be 1 times 15 is equal to 4. So what we can do is subtract 11 and this will give us the correct sequence. For this next part, we can do the same thing, where we take 30 minus 20, 20 minus 10, and we're going to see that we have a negative 10 times count. But, just like the last one, it is not going to be the same sequence, so what we have here is negative 10 times count plus 40, and that'll give us the correct sequence. For this next part, we have negative three, or we have negative seven, then negative three, then one, four. So basically, we have four. We're going to multiply this by count, and then we are going to subtract eleven to get the correct sequence. What we're really doing here is kind of taking slopes. So what we're really saying is we have this value, ninety-seven minus ninety-four, over the count value, which would be one minus two. So that will give us a negative 3. And this will continue being the same for here. So we have a negative 3 times count. And we can see that 1 times negative 3 is not going to give us a sequence. So we have negative 3 times count plus 100 to give us the full sequence. If we submit this, we have passed all of the tests. Again, what we were doing is basically looking at the sequence and finding the slope, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Here, we have our y2 being 19 minus 4, that's going to be 15, over 2 minus 1. So that will give us the correct answer.